not done a Summerland video for quite a long time, but here we go. Here it is, going down to Summerland. Um, some going off some nice blackberries there later on in the year. Here we go, Summerland, hooray! There's a little flower bed, what you got going here. Got some nice calendulas growing here, some pot marigolds with a little sunflower man with some sunflowers behind. Going quite tall now. Um, got some giant sunflowers growing in the compost bin along with some melons and some cucumbers and gherkins looking quite good and some sweet peas at the back, They're not quite out yet. The first little flower bed here. Some little some small little pansy type flowers growing here. Quite bright that sun, isn't it? Right, some dahlias there. Rhubarb at the back. Can't leave out my own shadow. Some more little flowers growing there. More sunflowers in this bed here. Here's the first of the square foot beds here. It's got some little poppy seeds going down there. Some giant poppies actually. Some Swiss chard in there. Some little dwarf beans. First little onion bed. Um, a couple of giant cabbages, which aren't quite giant yet, but they will be, hopefully, by the show. That's the um, Japanese seaweed. We've got some uh, chamomile growing here, some chives at the front. Got some dill growing there. First of the um, tomatoes, the money makers. Looking quite good, quite healthy. Um, got a little bean pot growing there. The beans growing up there. That's the purple runner beans. Got a little bed of um, broccoli here. Um, strawberry pot, as you can see. Nice big strawberry there, I'll pick that later. Some more strawberries with a nice little sunflower growing in the middle. So, a little spout. What, four foot tall now? Just getting a flower bud on the top. Um, some of the Chinese cabbage here going to seed a little bit, so that's to be picked. Uh, a sprout. <laughs> Got some turnips growing in the middle there. Um, there's some beetroot growing behind. Um, some more little onions there, but unfortunately they're growing to seed as well. Second tomato plant here, second money maker growing there. There's Alan looking a bit worse for wear, but he's still doing his job. Right, this is the bed of sweet potatoes. I'm going to put the rest of the sweet potatoes in here, but they're looking quite good. Um, this is where the asparagus is going to be. As you can see, they planted the asparagus this year. And that's growing nicely. Got some bergamot here, some banana shallots which are coming on quite nice, doing okay. Got some kohlrabi growing in there. This little thing is salsify, so I've never not quite grown that. I've not grown that before. Celeriac. It's looking as if it's forming its little celeriac head there. A couple of little beds of celeriac. Some better onions there which aren't going to seed. Another sprout. Globe arch joke. Some purple kohlrabi growing there. Got some little spring onions here which are getting the little spring onions on. Got cabbage in there. That's a little Cape gooseberry next to a sprout. <laughs> um, if you move up over to here got a little bed of strawberries. Let's have a look at what we've got going here. Yeah, a little strawberry there. That's ready for picking. Another little strawberry there. That's ready for picking. More strawberries, loads of strawberries. Fantastic. Come around here. That's my cause yet. That's doing pretty good, considering. These, this is the, uh, the Japanese spinach, as you can see. It's massive. 
got some cabbages growing at the front here, they're looking good. Um, more brassicas here, cabbages by the looks of them. This, I think this is a cauliflower, no heads on them yet. But got another brassica bed here for lift the sheet up here. These are actually sprouts, they're looking quite healthy. More cabbages growing here. Um, some cabbages growing at the back as well. And some beetroot growing along here as well. Got some beetroot in there and a couple of little onions in between. Right, some more Cape gooseberries here. Looking quite good. Um, this is the, the bed with the um, fruit bushes in. They're looking quite good. The potatoes in pots have gone absolutely crazy. As you can see, I can't even see the pot now. There's a pot at the back at the bottom there. Just about see it. Sorry if I turn the camera around then. But I can't even see where one pot begins and one, one ends. Yeah, I can show you these at the front better. Just in a little pot like that. And that's the potatoes growing all along there. I've got some peas growing in here, as you can see, doing really well. The little pea pods forming. These are alderman peas by the looks of it. And bizarrely enough, I don't know where they came from, but I've got loads of sunflowers growing in here as well. Which is going to be good. Nice sunflowers and some sweet peas growing in between. Um, some more bags of potatoes at the back. You can see they're doing quite well. Um, bags of potatoes. Um, let's have a look under here. These are the turnips. <laughs> turnips, all I wanted is a turnip of my own. Right, as you can see at the bottom, that's a cracking turnip. That's quite good. Nice turnips. Picking them soon. Some onions at the corner here doing well and my garlic oh. the garlic's doing fine I still got some radish growing here as you can see um, these are shallots and yeah the radish are going crazy let's have a little dig around with the carrots, let's have a look, see if you get any carrot here. Yeah. yeah, you can see a carrot there. It's a little top of a carrot. So they're actually forming carrots. Always weeding, always weeding. Pulling the weeds up. Let's get rid of these weeds. There we go. That's looking good under there. Very pleased. Right, I mean, I should have unzipped this, shouldn't I? We've got the... Uh, Supposedly blight resistant tomatoes in here. These are the seeds what were on the uh, Gardener's World. So we've got some tomatoes in there. Looking quite good. And these are, <laughs> they don't look it now, but they're supposed to be giant onions. Um, whoops, it is. Yeah, these are doing good. Just tapping them, just pollinating them. A little uh, trick to pollinate tomatoes. Got some more sweet potatoes to plant in there. Beans are finally starting to grow, and um, I ain't got the heart to pull the potatoes up from what, what I've peeked through last year. The beans are actually using them to grow, to climb up, which is quite nice. Right, so. Yeah, so the square foot beds I'm really, really pleased with. They seem to have done really, really brilliantly. I'm going to do some photographs as well of them. But, yeah, they're doing doing great. Um, go back down here. Oh, some sweet peas are just opened in as well. What a beautiful colour. That's a nice colour, isn't it? Oh, yeah, here's my Romanesque cauliflower. Let's have a little lift up of that. There you go, the Romanesque heads are there. All lovely and um, Escher-like. Here's my, my, my sweet corn bed. My um, 
and you plant four and then you plant a bean which climbs up it, the bean's growing, which is good. So that climb with the sweet corn. Got some squashes in the middle here. And I've got my uh, marrow plants underneath there. And a couple of peppers as well. And this is the bath. The bath of power with um, amazing things growing in it. We've got some really big onions at the edge here. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a really, really big carrot there. I need to cover that over. There we go. Um, got some carrots there at that end. Let's see if we can get around here. Got all these sticks around to stop the, the sparrows from eating my beetroot. Let's have a dig about. Yeah, as you can, <laughs> as you can see, the parsnips are doing really well. Oh my god, I'm getting myself on in a sangle here. Um, let's have a look at these, see if these carrots are doing as well. Uh, the carrots are a little bit skinny, but there's plenty more carrots down there, so that should be good. Um, this is a bed of poppies and lots of different flowers which aren't quite out yet. Still got a couple of cabbages at the front there, one of them's going to seed. And some of the rise and traub tomatoes which are going to be lots of little tiny little shoots here. They seem to be everywhere these rise and traub tomatoes. <laughs> but they're growing really well outside. Seeing as it's been so cold. This bed here. Um, it's got some more um, kohlrabi in there. And some fennel, bulb fennel there. And this is strawberry spinach. The strawberry spinach will be growing quite tall. Union's in the middle, looking quite good. Some more sweet corn here. The key is to grow the tallest of the uh, plants. This is um, artichokes, purple artichokes these are going to be. Um, grow the tallest ones at the back and then work your way down to the smallest ones at the front. And yeah, there's just like don't seem to have any stop putting um, slug pellets down quite a while ago um, got little gherkins growing in here as well little gherkin plant another one of the artichokes and this is ochre these are these little tubers these little tubers which grow underground and you pick them and they're supposed to be like potatoes just moving a bit of, bit of grass there I did a bit of strewing the other day um, it's a nice little flower there, isn't it? Um, yeah, and that's about it, really. The uh, sweet corn's doing well after a bit of a shaky start because it was so cold. But yeah, that's that's the ornament. So square foot bed there, square foot bed there, flower bed there, flower bed there, strawberries, courgettes, cauliflowers. Brassicas, cabbages, look at the size of all these on them cabbages. They're enormous. Almost as good as Paul's, I think. <laughs> uh, more here. These are the Cape gooseberries, got the little netting over. Um, the fruit, you know, the fruit's going to take about a year to kind of come on, but look, I've got some, I've got some little raspberries on here already. That's good. Um, I'm back round again. Um, to the TARDIS. The TARDIS has just got some little pots in and stuff and a couple of little sweet corns. Um, put this back across so it doesn't fall out. And uh, yeah, that's it. Fruit trees, what I got from Aldi, uh, that's a bit disappointing really, but you know, kind of everything. But the back is kind of like, grow <laughs> the back allotment's kind of grown, as you can possibly see, grown really a bit crazy. So yeah, that's pretty good. Really pleased. It's about what? Quarter past seven in the evening on the um, 23rd of June. Um, yeah, these onions are looking good. They're looking quite good. Um, these turnips should be ready for the show. Good. Rogue potato. Weeds, weeds. Always pulling up weeds. Um, but yeah, not bad. There's plenty of broccoli there for later on in the year, so the next year. And I didn't think these would work, but they're coming up. 
courgette seeds what I planted the other day. They're coming up because I've only got one courgette plant. I usually have about 50 million. These giant poppies will be good, they'll be nice and tall. Swiss chard's coming up. As you can see all these little beds kind of just like live next to each other and they're quite happy with each other. Some of these um, some of these sunflowers have got little spotty bits on and stuff but I'm not too fussed about that. This was a bed which was like had a lot of coffee in and um, plants seem to like it. Once it warms up a bit it should be a lot better. And uh, yeah that's about it. Quite happy with the little sunflowers opening. Here. Go back around here. This is the tallest one so far. But they're really quite beautiful these. Little petals opening. That one's the last one that was open. That's dying off a little bit now. Um but yeah. These are my giant ones. Um they've still got a lot of growing to do. Hopefully they'll be about 20 foot tall or something crazy. This one's already six foot tall and it wasn't even supposed to be a tall one so that's pretty good there's a little sunflower man fantastic